You've gone into business, you have a good product, but do you have a premium version of that product? Today, I'm gonna to dive deep into a case study that illustrates how you can separate your product line. So you have two differentiated grades of product. You have a good version and a premium version. And to illustrate this example, I'm gonna use this Beacon Bluetooth speaker. Uh, there is a good version and there is a premium version of this product. I'm gonna talk about uh, one, the design elements in manufacturing, engineering, packaging that separate good versus premium. Second, I'm gonna show you guys how to, you can have clear separation in your product with raw materials, with packaging and design. Third, I'm gonna reveal the cost to manufacture a small electronic device like this Bluetooth speaker, as well as the packaging cost. And last, I'm gonna share with you the exact team you need to hire to or to put into place to execute building an electronics product and packaging just like this. So beginning with that good version of the product, this is manufactured in a plastic. This is, these comes in these different colorways. This is easy to inject. The plastic is easy to dye. There is a treatment of the graphic design on the top plate with the logo application in different areas. And when the process team worked with this client to achieve the cost goals, there was a selection of these components, these drivers and the batteries to achieve that cost goal. So let's just touch on the packaging really quick here. The packaging with this inner box uh, and the rigid sleeve that slides over, the cost to manufacture packaging just like this would be $1.25. And then we, we look at a speaker like this, electronic like this with internal components in the size it's done in, with packaging would cost five to $7, including that $1.25. So we're five to seven bucks all in. But let's talk about that differentiation, that premium product. That's the good version. Now I've got the premium version right here. And how do the process team build and position a premium version of this specific, uh, for this brand? Uh, and more importantly, as I talk, think about how you can do this for your company, your product. So while the premium version might have some of the same technology, like the same ports, there are some larger components as well. There's a larger battery life. There's a higher grade internal tech componentry. But what we have here is an extruded aluminum shell with an aluminum oxide finish that is anodized. And there is this internal separation with componentry, but the exterior of this premium version needed to carry a bit more uh, permanence. We've done this with this really cool exoskeleton here, as you can see. So let's talk about this aluminum exoskeleton and why we went with an extrusion, because this could have been injected, it could have been molded or CNC'd, and the majority of companies or design teams out there probably would have went that direction, but uh, you know, I would say that when we worked with this client to achieve their specific cost goals and get this premium material selection, we needed to think a bit more outside the box. So it's not just enough to make just a plastic, a larger plastic version, right? You have to have a different grade of materials when you want to making premium. So to build this perfect aluminum hard shell and not to have the expense of a mold, the process engineers worked to get this extruded. Now, what exactly does this mean and how can this be an advantage for you when you're thinking about premium materials? Um, so let's, let's take in terms of like a hot glue gun for a second. Uh, the, there's a solid glue that goes into a gun that heats up the glue and then it goes through a tip to make a new shape. Aluminum is injected to build like a pipe-like shell and then the cost savings comes in because you're not doing a mold. You're just literally, you're able to get multiple units out of one extrusion. So. Um, this one extrusion that's piped in can be cut down just like you see here. And then this aluminum gets anodized and it just comes up with this really nice, beautiful finished product for the best price possible. So if you happen to be in the market for a Bluetooth speaker or, a, or an electronic device with similar, similar componentry, battery sizes, drivers, everything all in, packaging and everything, this would cost you 10 to $20 to manufacture overseas. And, and actually let's jump into that for just one second. Let's jump into the packaging itself. Because when you, like, when you design a product that has differentiation, you must do the packaging at a higher level um, with materials and design and whatnot. So rather than just do a typical paper box like this one, this is a nice box, right? This is a really nice rigid box. Um, the process team took the time to design and mold a cavity where we were able to wrap the speaker in this reus reusable like leather case with a zipper that perfectly holds the product inside with this EVA foam, right? So it just sets right in there and it elevates the product, right? So we then created this really simple uh, rigid sleeve that, that goes right on the outside of it to reveal the leather case. But then you have your, your messaging, your branding for 
the retail shelf like we needed to do here. So all in all, this packaging, the leather case, zipper, the, the foam and everything is $4.75 to manufacture. So last, let's get into that team. This is a really important point that I wanted to share with you. Who are the exact teams you need to put into place to pull something like this off on a manufacturing and design level? So first, you need a design engineering team that is based in the USA. Uh, a process here, we have offices in Los Angeles and Salt Lake City, so the USA engineering team is gonna design the exterior look and feel, the exterior CADs, and the functions that Beacon or the client wants to achieve in a product like this. Second, you need an overseas mechanical engineering team. So the CADs are handed off to our process overseas mechanical engineering team. They're gonna configure the molds, tools, fitments. They're gonna make sure that everything on this speaker and the packaging and the product come together in one perfect unit. And third, you need a good contract manufacturer. So what the process team does when we're selecting a new contract manufacturer is qualify. Uh, we approve the right factory for the job. We factor qualifications, we do an audit of the technology, of the production lines, there is a supply chain analysis that is done of the facility, uh, the manufacturing agreements are put into place as well as the pricing forecast. So I know all this sounds heavy, it's a lot, right? So if you wanted to work with a company from start to finish, from strategy design engineering and factory selection down to an audit of the factory, you can check us out. You can, a lot of our work is over at processag.com. And I hope you guys like this episode and you've learned a lot. Let me know what your favorite part of this episode was in the comments. You guys, my name is Paul. We are Process. This is the Masterminds of Packaging and Product. And we will see you guys on the next one.